friends, we are in the middle of a busy and buzzing homeschool day, and I didn't get dinner going in the slow cooker this morning. I love it when I'm able to throw something in the slow cooker first thing, just wasn't able to do it. And so right now, it's about 12.30, and I'm gonna get dinner going now, and so it should be ready up right about 4.30, 5 o'clock when we're ready to eat, because I'm gonna do it on high for about four hours. What I'm doing is I'm gonna throw a bunch of boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the slow cooker, and I'm gonna pour on a bottle of light Italian dressing and so right around dinner time we're gonna have some fantastic Italian chicken I will probably do a side of brown rice and broccoli because those are my go-to sides for myself and my family and I'm gonna show you how quick and easy this is because I know there's several mamas out there who are always looking for slow cooker ideas as I am and there's a few moms out there that have never turned a slow cooker on. So this will show you how easy it can be. If I can do it, you can do it too. So what I have here is I put this in a bowl so it'd be easier for you guys to see. But it's just from one of these bags of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Travis had picked this up at Walmart for me. And then we have a bottle of, this happens to be Ken's Steakhouse brand. But it's a light Italian dressing. It does not matter what kind of dressing you get. It doesn't matter if it's light or not. This is just what I picked up. And for my moms doing Trim Healthy Mama or low carb, this bottle is, let's see, this bottle is one carb per, per serving. So after I pour this over about three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast, it's not really gonna matter. Those, this can be counted as a low carb meal. In my book, of course, you can gladly just do whatever works for you. I also have my go-to spices. I've got some onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of chives, and then of course some salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna toss this all in this slow cooker on high for about four hours. And so I'm gonna dump it, dump it in the chicken breast. This this particular bag had some pieces, and now I'm gonna open up my dressing. Okay, so here's the rocket science. I am covering this chicken with this dressing. Now because this chicken is frozen, I don't need to add any other water or anything else special. I am just gonna let it cook in its own juices and this seasoning. Now you can marinate this too. If you wanna set this up in a metal bowl in your refrigerator overnight, you certainly can. This is also a so crazy easy freezer meal. I'm just sprinkling in some little bit of onion powder here. If you pile, pile all of this into a freezer bag and put it in your freezer, it's as simple as letting it thaw just a little bit and dumping it in your slow cooker and it's pretty much the same point. So now I'm gonna do some chives in here. Okay, so that's it. So now I'm gonna put my lid on my slow cooker. If you notice, there's two things you might see in this video. Number one, still Christmas lights behind me, and I'm filming this video beginning of February. So yeah, we gotta take the Christmas stuff down. Let me know in the comments if you just got your Christmas stuff down too. Um, also, the lid is broken off of my slow cooker, the little knob. Um, so what I've been doing is I just take a little cap and put it on top of it. It still cooks the same. And I have another slow cooker in my pantry. I just need to dig it out. So of course, slow cooker times vary. Your slow cooker might need a little bit more time. You just have to play with it. Cooking this on high for four hours, it will be done in my slow cooker. If I was going to be gone for the day or a little longer than four hours, I'd put it on low. About six hours is all it needs to make a fantastic dinner. So again, here it is, and I'm just putting a oh, silly cap on my hole to rig up my crock pot here. I like this one because it's a little bigger than my one in the pantry. And giving you a quick peek at what's happening so far in our homeschool day. We're just having some whiteboard, some dry erase time. Everybody's working on some pictures. Gaby's drawing a man. Naomi, what are you drawing over there, sweetie? A baby. Oh, Naomi's drawing a baby. Are you working on your numbers, Amelia? Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on a baby. Oh, the baby and the numbers. So now we're going to jump into our math and our reading and our writing, and then we hope to start a new read aloud this afternoon. It's a oh. short one. I'm hoping to just do it this afternoon so we can get a couple books in this week. That would be my fantastic goal. My big boys are working on their stacks in the living room, and I will check in with this slow cooker attack. Italian chicken and let you guys know how it's working out and I'll show it to you when I serve it at dinner. Hey, so we've got several
several hours of homeschooling under our belt. And next up is we're gonna do a solid hour of read aloud time. We're starting on The Courage of Sarah Noble this afternoon. And I'm gonna check in on this slow cooking Italian chicken and let you have a peek at how it is. It's almost done. So here's how it is so far. I have not messed with it at all. So I am just going to stir it up a little and we will be having dinner probably in about an hour and a half or so and this is just our quick chicken update so it's almost dinner time here and i'm going to take the lid off my slow cooker and give you a peek at how things turned out here is a look at dinner and the chicken breasts are wonderful smells fantastic now what i'm gonna do with all of this broth i'm gonna pull out the chicken breast and put them on this plate and then with this broth i'm gonna get a fantastic chicken and cabbage soup going in the slow cooker that i will totally devour over the next few days myself last two weeks i've been working to have some kind of slow cooker cabbage soup going for myself for quick healthy lunches for me or just as a snack or whenever because I really like it and I know it's low carb, it's trim healthy mama, it's just fantastic. So no matter what your eating system is, you might like to try it too. It's a great way with this chicken broth that's left. I'll show you, I cut up a whole cabbage, two zucchinis, a cauliflower, what else did I put in there? Three celery stalks. So when I pull the chicken out, I'm gonna put all of this in the broth it'll reduce down and it'll make a really good soup. So here's what, here's all my veggies for my next recipe that I'm tag teaming on this. And so now with this chicken breast, I am just going to pull them out and put them on the plate. that's left here is my plate of Italian chicken breast that's gonna go in the middle of the table also also for the family instead of broccoli I realized I had a big can of green beans so we are doing green beans as a side and then I'm also I have a pot of brown rice going because you know brown rice is a staple in our home and I also have a smaller pot full of quinoa so it'll just be whichever grain they want and then the broccoli and then the chicken breast so real quick since I'm getting the most out of this broth that's left I'm gonna pour in all of these vegetables yes and there's the cabbage on the top it looks really full but these vegetables are going to cook down it's chicken breast i will take one or two of these that are left from dinner and put them into my cabbage soup and i will probably also add some more water at some point so with that i'm just giving you an example of some of the ways that i continue on with the meals and use different aspects of the meals to create other meals so that is it friends this slow cooker chicken is ready for dinner i have it on the table i'll give you another peek at it I've just got it covered but there it is we also have our green beans i have some cheese sticks here we're waiting on our brown rice i already have quinoa on my plate and we are ready to roll so we're gonna have dinner do some after dinner chores and then probably watch a family movie before bedtime that's our plan for tonight and if you have any questions about this slow cooker chicken or anything in particular i'll certainly chat with you in those comments below sometimes i'm a few days before answering all the comments because you know real life this is how it goes but i enjoy talking to you and i'll see you soon next monday brand new video Video. Bye bye.